right, Sagittarius. Oh, my goodness. So half the cards are major arcana. And one of the messages that I got was stars and stripes. So I don't know if somebody's earning their stripes or, or something about stars. Stars in the night? Stars... Uh, I'll see if, if, if there's more messages that come in, but I'm very much focused on that. But I feel like this could very much, um, somebody earns their stripes or I think that's possibly military related. And I feel that this is like really taken a long time and very much well earned. Um, now I'm also feeling that for some of you, there's a very much letting go where there has been some conflicts or fighting or arguments. This could definitely be in the workplace. This could definitely be in home or in a marriage, uh, in a relationship. I feel that, or family, I feel that things are easing up a bit. I feel like where there's differences, there's uh, clarity being gained. Uh, it's almost like in some way, like the defenses are kind of going down uh, a little bit and there's more balance and things getting more grounded. And for some of you, I'm definitely picking up travel. Now, this is also, I feel like, related to a wedding. Uh, some of you may definitely be dealing with some legal matters, or there may be some job opportunities regarding either military or uh, possible like laws where laws are made. So if you're in the United States, it could be you may be taking a trip to Washington, D.C. or your state's capital, something about laws now, or you may even be flying or, or traveling uh, for like a job interview, especially here with the Ace of Pentacles. I feel that there's definitely potential for new beginnings. And, uh, so that's, that's very positive, but I, you know, I feel like there's going to be lots of, um, I'm getting kind of a um, maneuver. So I'm feeling like changes. There's going to be changes. You may actually be moving. You all of a sudden have to move and it could be jo very much job related is how I am picking this up. Some of you, I feel like this may be almost a, something that has not allowed you to work. I feel like this may have been an injury. This may have been because of a, a car accident or I don't know. I'm getting like forklift. I don't know if some of you like in the workplace, um, I'm also picking up possible back injury or leg injury. So I feel like maybe this could be like workman's comp or you're waiting Maybe, maybe a, a verdict has been rendered and, you know, this, this battle and this nightmare is over in one phase. But, uh, and I mean the legal battle and now you're possibly waiting for the, I don't know if it's like the verdict or you're waiting for an offer or you're waiting for the check to arrive regarding this, this injury. It may not even be work related, but somebody's insurance company has to pay for the damage that has been done. Um, cause I feel like this, this definitely could be, uh, an injury that has affected you mentally. Uh, physic, not just physically, but also emotionally, spiritually. And so you're waiting for, uh, compensation. And some of you, I feel may be very much going on a trip 
And I feel like this is more of something to help balance you or even balance your system. I don't know if this is like a weekend getaway to the countryside or somewhere very spiritual, somewhere where it's calming. And so you're moving very much away from this energy and you're becoming more grounded, more reflection or reflecting reflected. Does that make sense? You're becoming more reflective, I guess I should say, is what I meant to say. So uh, let me see what else that I am picking up for you. I'm also very much getting, like I'm feeling dizzy. So if you're feeling, you know, dizzy, obviously you want to go see the doctor, but also I almost feel like somebody's on medication that is affecting them like in, in a more, like it's the side effect is dizziness. And I don't know if there's a possibility of, you know, talking to your doctor and seeing if there's something else you can try. Um, but I am just getting dizziness. Now, when I get that also, I do feel that somebody may have gotten into an accident or caused an accident. And, and I don't feel like this is you feel like this is somebody else, but it may affect you or someone, you know, and I think it was due to like drinking or, 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 you know, some kind of, um, they, they were under the influence of something. And I feel like justice is going to be served because there's, um, punitive or legal damages or something like that. Like someone's filed a suit. So if there have been some continuous legal battles, I feel like there's, um, hope is is what I'm feeling, especially when I look at this. And, um, but there's something about stars, stars and stripes, stars and stripes. Uh, but I, I don't know there's something I'm focusing more on stars. I guess, I mean, it could be the national anthem since I'm here in the United States. I mean, with a star card here, I mean, it could also be that things like your star is going to shine. You will come out of whatever difficult situation or the, you know, if there's been like, I don't know, I'm getting headaches, headaches or migraines. Oh, seeing stars. That's what it is. I feel like somebody gets up. I don't know that this may have to do with the accident, like seeing stars. Yes. You know, when you you get that dizzy effect, like they, they're seeing stars. So if you're, if you're having that, obviously you want to go see a doctor, um, but I, I'm getting the, yeah, that dizzying effect. And I, you know, it could also be because somebody's having headaches. That's what I feel like migraines or ocular migraines. And so definitely have that looked at if you haven't already. That's what it, I knew there was some kind of connection because I felt it was health related in, in some way. So definitely have that um, checked out. But I, I definitely feel like there's possibilities of new love coming in. Now, as I said, this, the star is Aquarius. Then we have Libra. We have Sagittarius, but I view this as cancer <laughs> um, or both sometimes, but um, it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I feel like there's the opportunity definitely for love to be coming in. And also, as I stated earlier, very much possibility of more money, a, a, a job offer coming in, 
Um, and that has quite a bit of potential. Like it has a long term, like you can see, um, being with this company or in this line of work for quite a while is how I'm picking it up. Okay. We have the world and the world is in the reverse position. So let me just take a look at this for a minute. So one of the cards here, there's two major arcanas, the world in the tower and the tower. This may have been something that has, I'm feeling been going on for a while. This isn't something that just is going to happen. Um, in the week of March 30th, but it is, there is that possibility for some of you, but I'm feeling like this has been more ongoing and basically something has erupted, has exploded because it was built on foundations that were not stable to begin with. And literally it has blown up. The, the situation just exploded, blew up, and there, it's been like a disaster in some sense. Now, what I'm feeling though is that this situation is still unresolved. We have the world here, and I love this card, but I love it much more in the upright position. Now, this can indicate travel. Also, and, um, but in the reverse, I feel like the situation has not closed. It has not resolved itself. There's still things that need to be resolved that haven't been. And I'm sensing that this is the home. And the reason why I'm sensing this is more in the home or in close relationships, possibly even when I see the six of cups here, this has to do, I'm sorry, just hit that camera. Um, this has to do, this can represent definitely home. It can also represent childhood relationships. Uh, this is going back to childhood and it definitely feels to me it, it, that this is really a reading regarding the home, something in the home or a relationship from the past or a relationship from childhood has not been resolved. Here we have the six of wands and I'm seeing this card as a false victory. This card I am sensing is a, is a false victory. Uh, for quite a, a, a few reasons, uh, but that is what I'm getting the message, especially next to the tower and facing the tower. Somebody has felt victorious, but it's not an honest or true victory. Uh, they have yet to face the tower. So I feel like this uh, has to do with the home because this card does represent home, going home, and maybe going home in an emotional way. And, and with the tower, I feel like there has been, uh, you know, like this, this is the home, this can represent a home. And then this is definitely represents for me home and childhood. And it could be unfinished issues. Now this outcome is very beautiful though. We have the page of pentacles and I feel, see how they're making it. He's he or she, uh, the roles can be reversed, but see how there's an offer being made. I feel like reaching out or making an offer will start a new beginning for you, a new fresh start. It doesn't mean with that person. It, 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 it's just for yourself. There's so much more room to grow here. So much more room to grow. And, and this is, this is something new. 
This is uh, a new beginning. Now, this can represent possibly a, a a business venture or a family business that kind of you know got out of hand, and there have been a lot of arguments regarding that. So, it could be a business around. Uh, like a family business or somebody that you've partnered up from childhood or that you've opened a business back home and uh, something went awry and there's still unfinished business. And I believe once you finish that unfinished business, I mean, this is just the launching of something beautiful. It could be a launching of a business. It could be launching of a new relationship. But I feel like until these issues are resolved here, if you in, 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 and this may all be hitting you also, uh, the, this new way of seeing something, you know, it's almost like with the world and she's upside down and seeing it from a different perspective. And I think by seeing things from a different perspective, that you'll be more healing and it won't be so much as this, uh, false victory that I'm picking up on this. And, you know, your challenge here is to become victorious in what you do with these issues and to turn this world around. I mean, this is such a beautiful card to me. So, and I, I think then you'll just, you'll blossom. So I think for quite a few of you, I am sensing that, it, and this may just kind of like hit you out of the blue, like the week of March 30th, you're like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to resolve what's not, res what hasn't been resolved. And I'm going to reach out. And for others of you, you know, I, it may be a longer path. And it may be that things have not been good for a while and that in the week of March 30th, things do explode and the tower happens in the week of March 30th. But I just kind of am getting a feeling that this has been a process. This has been going on for a while, but focus on the victory on, you know, there's, there's a need for you to really go within. And it could also be dealing with childhood memories, childhood emotions, issues, because we have the cups here, your emotions, your feelings, and, um, and dealing with those. And, and I think then we will have a, 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 a true victory and a, a beautiful beginning. I mean, there's just, this is just a beautiful card and so much green, just growth and, and, uh, so much room for everything to, you know, here we just see like the sprinklings of the birthing of, of a new beginning.